Welcome to another video in the shortcut video editing series. I'm Joe, your tech handyman. In this video, I will show you how to work with audio in shortcut. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe to my channel, like a content and drop comments. If you're ready, let's dive right in. So guys, bring in your um, video right here and show you have it in the play on the playlist and then bring in the clip right there on the timeline. So click on your open file, then go to where you have your audio and then bring it in. Once you click on um, open, it brings it to the preview pane. So what you want to do is to drag it to the playlist section. And then here you can click on this handle, this menu. Uh, from the drop, drop down click track operations you can see add audio track if you click on it you have another audio or you keep your mouse here and right click and then follow the same process and then you have another track for audio if you scroll down you can see there's an audio track down you can um, actually rename this audio track but i prefer keeping it keeping it at default so once you highlight it um, the very quickest way to uh, get your uh, without video audio here is to do what i would do but first of all you need to pin it pin the video or other uh, materials down so that when you bring in some audios you won't shift so bring the audio to the preview pen click this plot spot now if i lighted it and then in a jiffy the audio track gets in so i'll quickly cut and then reposition it so once you're done you can move it around this particular um, timeline for audio specifically because that timeline is specifically for audio as it is now so once you highlight it for editing click on filters click on the plus button and then there is the audio tab click on it on this audio tab there are quite a number of um, settings quite a number of um, editors for instance the balance you can use this to balance um, the audio on both speakers just like that and then if you look again you have the band pass you can use this uh, particular settings to work on the band pass center frequency bandwidth roll off rate and all of that you can see high pass on there still on the audio editor there's limiter there's actually mute so if you want to mute a particular aspect of your audio just click highlight it and click on mute assistance now once you have the mute filter on the audio is uh, muted it won't say anything another one is again volume you want to increase the volume of your video audio just um, increase it that way and it will be very loud there are quite a number here quite a number of settings and um, controls that you can use to edit your audio depending on what you want to uh, make of it you know uh, just highlight it go to filters and then audio now if you want to record directly just click on this button once you click on this button as i just recorded this sample clip um so long as the button remains checked you are actually recording an audio now once that is done and you click on it again you can see record audio saving audio and it's actually set let me quickly close that so your audio is saved now if you scroll down you will see that this is the audio that i just recorded now directly from the shortcut interface now this is why i told you the other time that you need to pin the other clips down once you're working with um, quite a number of um, clips on the timeline so when you are moving things around it will not move all along so i'm actually pinning down the video and the other audio that i i brought in so when spin down you can actually move it around whichever way you want to do that so uh, two ways i've shown you you can record your audio and bring it in or you can record it directly from this particular software the shortcut so once done highlight it and click on filters uh, select the audio tab and have a lot of options uh, to edit for the pros just go to the um, audio interface where you work mainly on the audio once here you can tweak the audio the way you want from this interface uh, without any distraction from any other material from any other place um, so back to editing now um, i expect you uh, guys to try out this particular audio see what you can make of it play around with it and then at the end let's see in the next video thanks for watching Thank you.